Hello everyone, this is Danny coming to you with another late night review, and this one is of The Leisure Seeker. The Leisure Seeker. Yeah. The Leisure Seeker stars Academy Award winner Helen Moran and two-time Golden Globe winner Donald Sutherland. As a runaway couple going on an unforgettable journey in the faithful old RV they call the Leisure Seeker. Traveling from Boston to the Ernest Hemingway home in Key West, they recapture their passion for life and their love for each other on a road trip that provides revelation and surprise right up to the very end. This is uh, looking like end of 2017 or beginning of 2018 movie. It is rated R and it runs about an hour and 50 minutes or so. So, Donald Sutherland and Helen Moran says it right on the front cover. Two great performances from two legendary actors. And they really are. Really appreciated it. So, when I had not heard of this movie, and I don't think anybody else has, it showed up on my list. I got it from the library. I gave it a chance. I didn't know what it was going to be about. I was like, seriously asking myself, how can you make a two-hour movie out of somebody that's seeking leisure? It's like, what well, what is this movie going to be about? Them just lying on a beach for two hours or what? So, not what I thought it would be. Very surprising, very entertaining. And these two bounce off of each other well. They play their sick or, you know, sort of sick or really old sickness kind of characters very well. And I just was kind of blown away. I didn't know what to expect. And I kind of got a treat here. So... I didn't keep many notes because I just kind of watched this movie. It's one of those that you can just enjoy. So I'll just kind of run through my little bit of notes. But I'd like to talk about this for a minute. So they, at the beginning of the movie, how they started out, and about halfway through, it brings up the whole Trump winning thing. And so some people might get turned off by that. I, you know, whatever, um, don't really care, but I thought it was interesting that they plugged that into this, um, about halfway through, there's this big old rally and everything and Donald Sutherland's character, he's forgetful. He goes to this rally and he's cheering and make America great again. And the wife has to remind him that he voted Democrat. So, I mean, it's just kind of funny. They used it well. And it must have been about that time, you know, that people were having probably, honestly, uh, rallies against Trump. But this one was for him. So, um, yeah, it's 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 tough. Really, really tough to have a movie about people that are dealing with stuff. You know, I mean, we all have family or have had family that get old and when they get old they kind of start to wear down in the memory department so this is going to be tough for a lot of people to watch and so I can't suggest it to many this is going to be one of those movies that you have got to want to watch and you got to understand that it's just a movie and even then it gets a little bit tough because Donald Sutherland's character is the one he's just he actually says at one point, well, I start the sentence, and by the time I get to the end of it, I really have no idea what's going on. And there's a lot of times he's himself and then not himself, and then in some alternative memory, it it gets really tough. So I just want to forewarn people that that's what's going on. You know, they're in the this leisure seeker RV. That's the only you know, leisure part of this movie. The rest of it is very serious, very heavy, and very hard to take if you have any experience at all with this in real life. It does have some 
repetitive memories that keep coming up because obviously he gets stuck on certain things that he can actually remember. Donald Sutherland does. And so some of them are kind of funny. Um, he keeps bringing up this boyfriend that his wife had 50 years ago. And he's really sure, you know, in his alternative state of mind that um, Dan just, you know, loved his wife and he wants to get behind it. And at one point he gets this gun out and points it at her and says, I'm going to confront Dan. I know you love him still. And, you know, he's just, and it's kind of sad and funny at the same time, but they actually go to find Dan. And I was like, wow, that's cool. So they fulfilled some things. Um, Lillian is their next door neighbor, I guess, like their whole life. And I guess he has an affair with her. So there's a whole scene about that uh, back in the day and everything. But there's a memory scene about that. Um, and then, you know, this whole gun situation, they're not supposed to have it. They didn't think they have it. They thought they left it at home. They say that after they used the gun in the last scene. Uh, they try to get robbed, but then they bring out the gun and they don't know if it's loaded or not. Then there's another time he threatens to shoot it and the gun might be loaded. I don't know. It's, there's some funny parts of this movie. It really kind of takes a break from all the seriousness and all the strife and has some funny moments. I was really surprised at the really funny things that come along. Um, Donald Sutherland's character is really into Hemingway and it's just kind of his way of you know saying some things and repeating some things and having a conversation kind of helps keep him in the moment you know and um so i appreciated that part of the movie i'm glad there's something that helped him be in you know the moment and kind of bring him back you know it's nice when people have that kind of tick to be able to keep going and that was his is being an old english teacher he gets to talk about Hemingway a lot in this movie. And then they end up going to the Hemingway house down in Florida. And it's just kind of cool. And uh, I kind of like that part of the movie. And then we come to find out why this movie is so serious and why this movie exists is for the ending. And um, it turns out that Helen Moran is dealing with cancer. And I only let you know that because I don't think many of you are actually going to you know, either watch this video review or actually see this movie. So I'm just going to let you know. Okay. Helen Miranda ends up dealing with cancer this whole movie. And that's why she ends up taking this vacation with her forgetful husband. And why you know they're putting themselves in jeopardy whatsoever. And so it comes to fruition at the end. Uh, she actually goes to the hospital. And Donald Sutherland gets her out. And... Um, so, it's tough with the stuff it has to deal with, and it's really serious at the end, and you find out all this stuff, it kind of comes piling up, and the ending is like, it's romantic, it's good that it makes sense, it's sad, the maximum amount of sad. And it's artistic, and I appreciate these characters and uh, these actors doing what they did and being a part of a project like this that is so real and raw and hard to deal with and hard to talk about. And um, I'm not really sure that I would ever be able to take this movie if my life was in a different place. And I hope some of you, if you watch this video review, Know what this movie is about before you watch it if you're dealing with some of these issues. Because the ending, they end up actually killing themselves so that they can punch their own ticket when they see fit. Helen Moran is dealing with cancer. She knows her time is almost up. Donald Sutherland can't remember a thing. And he can't survive by himself. Even if she were to die of cancer, he wouldn't be able to survive in a home. Um, everything about it makes sense, but it's just so sad. And um, I won't tell you how it happens because I want there to be some surprise. But I was kind of left in shock. I, you know, can't. I was like a no kind of a moment. I just it's so bad. So I appreciate this movie, and but I want to utmost point out 
how serious this movie is. It has its funny moments. It has its great acting times. It has beautiful scenery. It has great people along the way. Um, since it's an adventure movie, it has great people along the way. Just kind of nice and you know light characters and things that happen and um donald sutherland's character keeps stating that he wants a burger he keeps saying it until he gets it it's just how you know this kind of people some people get when they get older it's just how it goes so i want to give the leisure seeker a b i do suggest watching it if you ever come across the path of it these are two obviously legendary actors they're going to be known for lots and lots of things in their life I hope some people watch this eventually. Um, I enjoyed it. I laughed a lot more than I thought I would. And I literally cannot believe the ending. It was just blew me away. And uh, some people don't have enough guts to make a movie like this. And you got to be really professional about the way you make this. And I think it came across that way. And so I appreciate it. So thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any other more of my videos i've made a lot of them go and try and give some of them a watch like and subscribe to my channel if you would and again a b for the leisure seeker try and give it a chance and enjoy movies guys thanks